Hey guys, this is Pretzel Cosplay and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's been a while since I uploaded my last video to YouTube. I am really aware of that. <laughs> and one of my New Year's resolutions for 2018 is to make more YouTube videos. So here is the first one. Are you ready? Today I'm going to show you guys how you can make Aloy's Spear from the game Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, I really love this game and I had so much fun making the outfit for the Banuk Ice Hunter. And then I really wanted to make her spear as well. And I also made it detachable so I can actually bring it with me in a suitcase. Look how small it is. You can easily fit it in the small luggage. about how to uh, craft with Warbla and how to make costumes in general, then be sure to check out my books and ebooks. With these ebooks you can learn a lot of techniques to use for your own costumes. And you can also download some digital patterns on my website. So let's start! First I cut out some PVC pipe to the right length for my spear. Then I needed to shape it a little bit and for that I used my heat gun and then just carefully bend the PVC pipe so it has the right shape. And I needed two bends in it. So yeah, it's really easy to do this, just be careful. Then I decided where I wanted the connections, drew it on, uh, sawed them in the right length and sanded the edges. This is how the connections look, they are just bigger pieces of PVC pipe. I added some contact cement to the PVC pipe and um, spread it out with a spatula. Yeah, I think it's called a spatula. And then I'll leave it to dry. And I also added some contact cement to the bigger PVC pipe, the connector, and also spread it out with the spatula and left it to dry. It takes about 10 minutes to dry. When the glue was dried, I used a lot of force <laughs> to add the pieces together. Then I got my EVA foam, different thicknesses, and my uh, knife. And I also used a ruler to cut some right lines. No, straight lines, not right. Language barrier. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, the foam is really easy to cut. This is actually the Eva foam from Cosplay Clues. I will put the link in the description so you can also get it. This is the 5mm thickness. I wanted it to have a beveled edge, so I just cut off a little bit with my knife. And just pull it off. And as you can see, now it has a nice beveled edge. I needed these pieces of foam to give the spare extra thickness, so I added some glue on them, left it to dry, and then put the foam on top of the PVC pipe. I used some force to really press it onto the pipe. This glue is really amazing. <laughs> it needs to dry a little bit before you put the pieces together, but it's, it's, it's perfect. Then I also put some glue on another piece of foam and added it to the PVC pipe to lengthen the spear a bit. Then I got some 2mm EVA foam and wrapped it around the spear so it would be really smooth. Again I used the contact glue, left it to dry and then put it on there. And to finish the edges I cut off the little leftovers. So it would be a really nice finish. That would be the base to put the warbler on later. To create patterns for the other pieces of the spare, I just got my blueprint that I printed out and drew over it to create the patterns. You can actually get this blueprint in my Etsy store. I created the shape for the end of the spear by layering some pieces of 1cm EVA foam. Then I cut the shape with my X-Acto knife 
and to smooth it out I used my rotary tool uh, with the sanding bit. Uh, as you can see it works really well. This foam reacts really good to uh, the rotary tool. You can really get a smooth surface. And if you do this, you will also see this in the warbler that you will put on top, because it just will give it a really smooth surface. I set my rotary tool on the lowest speed for this. I feel that it gives me the most uh, control over it. I use this tool for all the other foam pieces, just to give them a really neat look. It's really easy to use, just be sure to wear a mask because it's not really healthy to inhale the foam dust. And then I put all the foam pieces together and this is how it looks like. And I added some extra details to it, then I wrapped some warbla over it to, um, to make it extra sturdy. I covered all the foam pieces in warbla. To do this uh, you need two warbla pieces for every foam piece, uh, heat it up Put it on top and on the bottom, cut it out and attach it all together. Adding details to warbler piece is really easy. You can just cut out some stripes out of warbler scraps, heat it up and heat up the project and just push on those details. I also use a wooden tool to, um, to make it a little bit neater and to really make the bond strong. You can also make some round shapes, just put on those lines and make them round. It's, uh, it's really easy, there's not much to this. <laughs> I wanted the base part of the spare to have a wood texture in it. To do this I used a, my wooden tool to actually carve some lines in it. First I heated up the warbler so it gets all soft and then I just carved lines to make it look like wood. I really love this technique because it actually looks like wood. And you don't need to use real wood. And then I added some more details by just using sandwiched warbler pieces and added them to the spare and add some more details. The spare also has some ropes wrapped around it. I didn't want to use real ropes because they can get dirty very easy. So I just used some warm glass scraps and twisted them so they look like yarn and then I just wrapped them around the spear. And I actually think it looks like real yarn, but it doesn't get dirty, so that's pretty nice. The spear also has some cables that run across and I just rolled some leftovers of warbla and sculpted cables on them. If you add details, you have to make sure that you heat up both the project that you're working on and the warbler that you want to attach to it, because that will activate the glue and make the bond. For the handle, I made a pattern for some extra details by just drawing on paper tape and then pulling it off, putting the tape on some paper and cutting it out. So then I had my pattern, I transferred it onto warbler, cut it out again. <laughs> and heated up the piece and then attached it to the spear. Now I had some extra dimension on my piece and some extra room to sculpt. I sculpted it with my wooden tool, so I just carved some lines and basically tried to make it have some texture. The handle of the spear also has some weaving on it and I also created this effect with the wooden tools, so just by sculpting. I just carved the lines in it that I needed to make it look real. And to make it look three-dimensional I pushed some lines in it and I also made it look like it goes over and under each other. So it looks like it's actually woven. The final detail on the handle was a little stripe of warbler. This just added a little bit extra depth to it. It's a small thing, but it makes a big difference.
and then the crafting of the spear was done. Now it's pure white and ready for paint. I really love how the spear turned out thus far. I think it looks really cool with all the details. Aloy's spear also has some feathers attached. I didn't want to use real feathers, so I made them out of felt. I cut two pieces for each feather and then used some metal wire for the stem. I curled the end so I would have something to attach it to and then I glued the two pieces over the wire. To paint them I just used acrylic paint and I checked how the feathers looked in the game. They are really colorful and I actually really like that. So I just added paint, light paint and dark paint. To paint the spear I used acrylic paint. First I sprayed the whole spear with some uh, primer from Cosplay Clues. It's the flexible primer that is a little bit like Plasti Dip. And then I just painted it with acrylic paint. First a dark layer and then a lighter layer that really brings out the details in the structure. And I just keep, kept adding lighter layers until I was satisfied with the look of the spear. I have paint all over my hands but that's normal. <laughs> Fully normal. I painted the cables and ropes with some blue and green acrylic paint and I first painted some dark blue and after that some lighter to give it some highlights. Then I painted the metal parts with oil paint. The oil paint really gives it a nice and antique look but the only downside of the oil paint is that it really dries slow. In our climate it takes longer than a week for it to dry. After the painting was done I added some linen wraps and I hand sewed them closed. I used the same linen that I also used in my costume for the belt. I also needed a little leather band, so I put some dots on it and then pushed holes with my belt puncher. Then I used some fake sweat cord to lace it through. It looks really nice. And then I just made a knot in it to finish it off and put the knot a little bit under the leather. And this was the final thing about making the spear. I hope you liked watching this. Oh, hey, you're still here. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope to see you at the next video. So be sure to like and subscribe and post a comment if you have questions. So, so bye bye. <laughs>